Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Welcome to lesson 8 of Piano for Beginners. Uh, in the last couple of weeks we showed what major scales are, minor scales, what a key in a certain song is. Now that we have that knowledge, it's easier to understand how major and minor chords are built up. And today I'm going to show you how major chords are built up and how we can recognize them. Now I'm going to use the same example like I do always and it's the easiest one starting in the C major scale. So to make the C major chord, it only makes sense that we use the C major scale, right? So in this case that means we don't use black keys at all. So those are excluded already. Now it's easiest to start off with the bass tone, so the C right here, or higher or lower. That's the same thing, but we start off with the C because that's the bass note of this scale. Now, first of all, guys, a chord is made up of at least two different notes. Okay, and then we can add a third, fourth, fifth. You have many options in there, but at least two different notes. Now, in a basic chord, we are going to use three notes. So we have different ones, but we can go very advanced in that, but we're going to stay basic for this video. And for these basic major and minor chords, we're only going to use three different notes. How is it built up? Now, first of all, we start off with the first note, which is the bass key of the scale. And in this example, the C major scale. So the C is my bass note. That's the first note. The second note that we're going to use, or the note that is always there, will be the fifth. Okay, and that doesn't change if it's minor or major. So the fifth note here in this case will be the G. Because in the C major scale, that's the fifth note. That's the fifth note. So we have the C and we have the G. Then the third note that we're going to add is the one that decides that it's major. And that is going to be the third note. This one. Okay. So if we use those three notes, the first, the third, and the fifth, then we have our chord. This is a C major chord. You can play this in different positions, of course. Now we start off with the C, but we can play it higher. And now it starts with the E, but it's the same chord. We can go even higher and start with the G. And then go on or go lower. Yeah, so we have a lot of different options right here, but it's the same chord every time. So that is a way that we can find this chord. It's starting from the scale from that chord. So again, if you want to find the C major chord, use the C major scale and then take the first, third and fifth note from that scale and then you have the C major chord. Another way to find this is if you don't know the scale yet and you don't want to search for the scale of a certain key, then you can start off with the bass notes. So with the C major chord, that's the C. And then to find the second note, we move up two full tones, which is this. The E. This is two full tones higher than my C. Okay? So between the first and the second note, there's two full tones. Then between the second note of my chord and the third note of my chord, there's only one and a half tones. So the next one is the G. So starting with the C, two tones higher is the E, which is my second note, and then one and a half tones higher than that is the G. Okay, and then I have my same chord. So you have two ways to find it. You can start off with the scale of that chord, and then use the first, third, and fifth note. Or you can start with the bass note, the C, then move two full tones up and then one and a half tones up. And then you have the same chord. Okay. So guys, that's basically it when it comes to basic major chords. And you can do this for every 
a uh, different note, of course. We use the C because it's an easy example, but let's take, for example, another one being the, let's say, F. If you want to have the F major chord, then we can use the F major scale as well, which is this one. And then use the first, third and fifth note in that. Right? Or we can start off with the first note being the F. Then two full tones higher, which is the A. And then one and a half tones higher than that one, which is the C. And now we have the same chord. Right? So you can do this for every basic major chord. Next week I'm going to explain to you how to recognize uh, basic minor chords and how to find them. I hope you learned something again today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Now, one step further, we can see, now we can, now that we know, now that we have that knowledge, and today I'm gonna show you what my, so for a C, so to build, so the fifth will be this, so if you want to, so again, if you want to stop and use a third, and use a first, and use a first, and then take the, then we full, then we move up, so starting with, but then one and a half tower, and then use the third, okay? You can do this for every basic, so you can do this